Hey, good afternoon, JCPS. Hope you had a good week. Um, I know everybody had a busy week like I did. First of all, uh, I want to start by congratulating our two newest state champions uh, here in JCPS. First of all, congratulations to the Central High School Yellow Jackets for winning the 3A state championship a week ago today on Friday. And then also congratulations to Mayo High School for winning the 6A state championship on Saturday night. It was an exciting time for JCPS athletics. This is the first time in KHSAA history that two JCPS schools have been state champions. Played hard on the field, uh, great support by the students, faculty of those schools, parents. It was just exciting. I uh, would have loved to have been at the Central game. I was flying back in town. Uh, but I was honored to be on the field at the end of the male championship. But congratulations to both schools. I'll be heading over to Central this afternoon to celebrate their state championship. So great work, uh, just signs of great things that are happening in JCPS. On Wednesday, um, I had the second opportunity to present uh, JCPS's progress in, in front of the Kentucky Board of Education. I'm um, always excited to talk about the, the great work that is taking place in JCPS across all of our schools, and this was the opportunity for me to talk about the corrective action plan with JCPS. And I highlighted a couple areas. First of all, the work around the backpack, the JCPS backpack of skills. I know I've talked about it a lot on here, but exciting things are happening. Um, as of last week, we had over 65,000 students in JCPS uh, who had put artifacts of learning in their backpack. We know that will be up close to 100,000 by the time we leave uh, for the holiday break. Uh, so we have kids all over the place doing uh, meaningful work in their classroom, producing artifacts of their learning so that they will be able to defend their transition readiness around those success skills in the backpack. So it's, it's really innovative and exciting work. Uh, we also have students taking map testing right now to ensure that they're ready in both math and reading in transition readiness. Schools can really tailor their instruction and their interventions around those assessments. So thanks to all our teachers and schools and our students for giving their best effort around that map assessment. Also at the board meeting, I got to highlight the Academies of Louisville initiative and how many of our students are in the academy. We have over 17,000 of our high school students um, currently that are in an Academy of Louisville pathway. Uh, just exciting things happening with that. Partnerships, 85 business partnerships that are aligned with our high schools that are ensuring that kids are both college and career ready. We also this week had our guiding team meeting for the Academies of Louisville. Want to thank all of our business partners for engaging in that work um, and really helping us make our Academies of Louisville initiative a national model. So thanks for all of that. So as you can see, it's been a busy week. We work with our principals this week. We had principal meetings, elementary, our middle, our high school, and our AIS principals all meeting together to really reflect on the great things and some of our positive indicators that have happened in the first half of the year and planning for changes and adjustments for the second half of the year so that we have a very successful uh, second half of the 18-19 school year. So lots of great things are happening throughout JCPS and great work. Want to remind all of our runners out there and even our walkers, join us if you're a runner or a walker. A week from today, next Friday, 445 will be our next uh, installment or edition of the Superintendent's Running Club. So come out and join us. We'll be at a new spot next week. Uh, we'll be out um, at Tom Sawyer State Park. More information to come next week, but please join us. Probably going to be a little cold, but dress warm. We can run through anything. So uh, looking forward to that and want to spend some time with some of our employees at the Superintendent Running Club next Friday, 445, out at Tom Sawyer State Park. Hope you have a great weekend, two weeks until the holiday break. We need 10 great days of instruction. Get your rest this weekend and come back ready to go on Monday. Have a great weekend.